Good morning. The message of the day is trust in the Lord. Today's reading is taken from the book of Kings. Elijah is locked in a moral battle with King Ahab and his wicked wife Jezebel, who have forsaken the Lord and are worshiping the pagan god Baal. At the direction of the Lord, Elijah prophesied that a great drought would come over the land. During this period of tremendous dryness, Elijah has been in hiding as the king considers him to be a criminal. Now even the one brook near where he was hiding has run dry. So with the direction of the Lord, Elijah heads to Zarephath. Elijah sees a widow who is gathering sticks and he calls out to her to please bring him a cup full of water to drink. Then he adds, please also bring along a bit of bread. The poor widow responds, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Eliza responds, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. The woman, who is presumably suffering from starvation due to the drought, has a very limited amount of flour and oil. She has enough left for one meager meal for her and her son. She is being asked by this stranger to trust in him and in God to such an extent that if the prophet does not fulfill his promise, it will cost her her very life. If God does not perform a miracle, then there will be no food left after she prepares the meal for Elijah. And yet she did as he requested. Despite her dire situation, Despite knowing that if she uses a limited amount of flour to make a cake for Elijah, there will be none left. She trusts in God to save her life. So she went and did as Elijah requested. And God did just as Elijah had foretold. She and her son and Elijah were able to eat for a year. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor did the oil run dry. We too are called to trust the Lord with our very lives, to live each day secure in the knowledge that the Lord will come to our aid and help us to get through any difficult situation that we face. No matter how dire the circumstances or the seemingly insurmountable difficulties, we are to trust in the Lord our God alone, knowing that he will not let the jar of flour go empty or the oil run dry. Rather, he will be with us in our hour of need to guide us and strengthen us. So trust in the Lord and do not be afraid.